Joe's gonna get pissed drunk. I don't think I'm gonna get pissed drunk. This will be interesting to see how this tier list goes. Or not tier list, this taste test. Dude, I'm only I'm only drinking a sip of every one, but it's like 38 different sips. And I'm probably gonna have to re-sip to compare, and that's gonna be a problem. Chat, this is a very special day. I have been looking forward. Well, I've been plan not looking forward, right? It's not like this isn't a vacation, but I've been planning out this stream for a while. Hence why I'm wearing the lavalier mic. Hence why I'm sitting fucking six feet away from my camera. What are we doing today, chat? You're an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic. Uh, I'm doing a taste test. This is an experiment. This is not me being an alcoholic. Can you lower the quality? It's 1 p.m. Yeah on a Saturday, and I'm taste testing. Okay, For, yo, my chat's already judging me. Meanwhile, my whole chat already told me to do this. This is very inspiring. Bro, y'all are pissing me off. Y'all are already pissing me off. Everybody say hi, YouTube, while I'm doing this. Oh, hello, YouTube viewers. I didn't see you there. All right, let's, let's do a retake. Why, hello there. <laughs> My name's Joe Bartolozzi, and I'm going to be doing the alcohol taste test. Now nah, that's such a shitty intro. Eer, 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 eer. Yo, keep spamming high YouTube. Yeah, let's act like this is the first take. Hello there. Oh my God, this is what we're doing today, okay? But let's give a PSA here. This is for educational purposes only. This is for Twitch chat and the YouTube viewers. It's for educational purposes only. This is gonna be a taste test. This is an experiment, okay? This is for experimental purposes and taste test purposes only. I am an alcohol critic, okay? A self-proclaimed professional alcohol critic. I can determine which alcohol is the, is the best amongst many different types of alcohols, okay? So that's what we're doing today. We're doing an alcohol critique, right? I have 38, I believe, different alcohols, light alcohols to be specific. And today we're going to be doing a taste test of them and I'm going to be ranking them on the best five and the worst five. Now you might be asking yourself, Joe, why wouldn't you just do a tier list, right? Tier list is what everybody's doing these days. Cause tier lists are kind of fucking cringe when you're doing this. And let me explain. If I'm doing a tier list of the different alcohols, I'm rating the alcohol on the tier list. I'm just rating it A through F or S through F. That's not a competition. While they may be competing on the tier list, I'm rating it off of the tier list credentials. The way that I'm doing it, we're going to be determining the best and the worst, the five best and the five worst. That's all that matters. Nobody gives a shit about the middle of the road motherfuckers, the C tiers. So for that reason, we're gonna be doing the best and the worst. I'm going to be putting the best on this side and the worst on this side, but that also doesn't help because 30 minutes into the stream, I'm gonna have some jerk off come into my stream and say, wait, which side, which, which side is the best? Wh which side is the worst? So I brought visual representations to aid my chat, right? I looked on Amazon for green and red signs in which I could find none. So um, we're actually going to be using uh, the Mythbusters collection one, a fire collection to represent the best. It's gonna be there four discs, by the way. If anybody wants to buy this after stream, let me know. Four discs, collection one, full set, right? Of Mythbusters, of Mythbusters season one. Anyways, uh, the worst will be Chicken Little. Now, I understand that some people may be upset by the fact that I'm making Chicken Little the representation of the worst alcohols. However, uh, Chicken Little is a shit movie. We know it's a shit movie. Uh, all he does is bitch about how the sky is falling. Uh, he's a pussy little chicken fuck, and I would curb stop him into the ground, uh, in about, yay, 0.5 seconds, right? He's a loser, right? Chicken Little is a dickhead. He bitches, he cries wolf, and then the sky actually starts falling, who would have guessed it? Anyways, now, are y'all ready to get into this? By the way, I did bring a breathalyzer. Now, uh, throughout this stream, I will be using the breathalyzer. I don't know how often, whenever I feel like using it. This, this is also to tell my chat that I'm not drunk. Because the second one of the drinks touches my mouth, my chat will proclaim that I am wasted. That I am so drunk that I'm incoherent and I'm un I'm unfucking uh, readable. Uh, you can't understand what I'm saying. Yes, they're already saying I'm drunk right now before I have even uh, opened any of the alcohols. I do have two coolers next to me. Let's get in. I feel like we should start with like 
A classic for the first one. Little mystery pick. What's the first one? Miller Lite. Miller Lite. What a start off. Let's pop in here with it. A nice old Miller Lite, right? A light beer. I believe four point something percent. Uh, I might say it on the can. Too lazy to read though. Let's give it a sip. I like Miller Lite, right? I don't dislike Miller Lite. I think Miller Lite's a, a decent beer. If I go to a bar, uh, I am 21 years of age, by the way. This is kind of obvious, seeing that I'm doing an alcohol tier list. I might order a Miller Draft, right? It's, it is one of... I'm drunk. Yeah, I'm so drunk, chat. I'm so... Miller Lite, though, it's not bad. I do enjoy it. I will say that there are better beers, and this might even be better on draft, but for the sake of the tier list, I do have to rate them on the bottle. Another key factor in my rating uh, is that I'm going to be rating not only on taste, right? Because if I'm only rating on taste, uh, beer is never going to win, ever, right? Uh, because obviously the sweet fucking 35 grams of sugar drinks are going to taste better than a Miller Lite, right? So I have to keep in mind drinkability. Those are going to be the factors, right? Taste, drinkability, and then just if I if I like if I like the vibe of it, whether or not it's you know I might dock some points if it's a really unhealthy alcohol. To be fair though, none of these are really going to be that healthy, but some of them are going to be better than others. Seeing that like a four loco might not be you know the best taste uh, tasting alcohol or healthiest alcohol, right? So. It's going to be measured on a few factors outside of taste, um, but mainly taste too. I'd give Miller on a scale of beers. I'm going to keep it on the best, right? It's going to move over to the Mythbusters, Jamie Heineman and Adam Savage. W in the chat for Miller Lite. Congratulations. You're the only beer, the only alcohol uh, in this competition, and you're doing amazing thus far. I'd give it like an 8 out of 10, 8.2 uh, for beers, for, for light alcohol in general, maybe like a 7.3. Number two. Oh, wow. Miller, uh, wow, I did not even mean to grab the other Miller. Miller High Life. I have had one of these beers ever uh, at a frat party when a guy handed it to me. And I was a bit hesitant uh, seeing that he, it was opened already. Uh, and I could have been drugged, right? Uh, however, I drank out of it. Uh, and I do remember that night. So, thankfully, I was not drugged by some random frat guy. Keep in mind, uh, when you do go to a frat party uh, in your life, do not drink opened alcohols. Uh, that is a bad idea, especially if you're a woman. Anyways, Miller High Life. Miller High Life is better. Uh, fractionally. See, here's the other issue is, is I'm going to forget how good that one was. And so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to taste test each like 30 fucking times. Miller High Life is, is not bad. I would actually say it's a bit better. Uh, I don't know what's different about it. It just says the champagne of beers, kind of a cringe slogan. It's better than that. I'm going to give it an 8.3. It's fractionally better. I would say this, the Miller's still good, but Miller High Life is a better beer. Quick pause in the video to shout out my gaming channel, Joe Bart Games. Do you like watching my react content slash just chatting content slash rant content slash maybe tier list content? Which you obviously do because you're halfway through the video right now. Well, go sub to Joe Bart Games. Link in description, link in comment section, or just go to Joe Bart Games. Follow that bitch because I just made that channel about a month ago. Starting to upload on it way more. Check it out. I appreciate you guys. Back to the video. Number three. Let's get into it. Do a field test on yourself. <laughs> That's why I have the breathalyzer. Dude, I'll do a field. After we're done, if I move the table, I'll do like a field test. Oh, oh wait. Number three. Twisted tea. Uh, the kidney stone alcohol. A sweet alcohol. Pretty unhealthy. 5% alcohol. Higher than I believe both of those. Maybe not Miller High Life. Uh, if you like, like, le if you like lemon, lemon, lemonade slash tea, you like the half and half, you like just base fucking sweet teas, this is pretty good. That sounds nasty as fuck, twisted tea. I swear to God, there's a fly in front of me, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. Let me compose myself. Uh, it's good. I've had many of these, but I would never drink more than, like, two at one sitting. Uh, cause they are absurdly sweet. They're better in taste than both of those. 
uh, obviously, because it's more appealing sugar-wise. I might slide it. I might slide it in front of the Miller, right? Because if you were gonna offer me one of these, I might take a Twee, but I would. I would rather have the Miller High Life. Miller High Life is the best out of these three. He's slurring his words. Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. Now I've never had this. Do any of y'all know what the fuck this is? Uh, I went to a liquor store. Uh, it is a very, a very thick can. Kind of looks like uh, beans. Uh, it is Foster's alcohol. Uh, I see it everywhere. It is apparently an Australian beer. I don't, I don't, I don't really know how it's gonna taste. Uh, it, the can is very off-putting though, because it kind of looks like it would have food inside of it rather than a drink. Uh, that was also almost impossible to fucking open. <sighs> Smells like piss. Uh, it's a bit sour. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, it's really sour. Why is it sour? Dude, I should stop comparing them because I'm only four in. Yeah, it's sour. Why is it sour? Is it bad? Or do they want it to taste like that? And this is 25 ounces. Who the fuck is grabbing this? All right. Now we're into the, maybe one of the most popular contenders here. The good old American 4th of July. 4th of July, light the fireworks. Fucking smearing off ice. Red, white, and blue. I don't know. It's not a goddamn twist off. All right, we got to break it out. It's a twist off. It's a twist off. Uh, this was the first alcohol I ever got drunk on. Uh, I drank about five of these the first time I ever got drunk. Was it in the Bahamas? No, it was in St. Martin. And I drank like five of these. Uh, and I laid in the sand and I didn't put sunscreen on and my eyes got so sunburnt because I kind of passed out in the, on the beach that when I would blink, it would hurt for the next three days. So I'm not very fond of these. They don't really bring me good memories. They're good. They're a little festive. If you're on the 4th of July, I'll drink them. Uh, there was one night I drank 15. That was not a good night. Uh, I, I, why is bro speaking weird? I'm not speaking weird. It's so good though. Like it's, it's so good. Oh my God. Like I don't like the memories, but it tastes like, you know, the, the ice cream pops you get at the beach, the rocket pops you get at the beach. Imagine you melted it and then cooled it and you just drank the juice. That's what this tastes like. Like it has no, no inkling of alcohol in it, which is also pretty dangerous, but it's so good. 4.5% alcohol. Guess how much I spent on all this alcohol. We did that the other day. Uh, I spent like two, 253, uh, probably like 300. Cause I had to buy six packs of like six different ones. Happy dads, I had to buy a 24 case. I'm going to have some choice words for fucking happy dad. When we get to their fucking shit ass shit. I might put it under Miller. It's still top five. Uh, even though we're not even on um, like 10 yet. It's still making top five. It tastes good, but I would not any I would never want to drink more than one of those. I would I would be much more happy drinking like three of these than three of these. Coors Light. Ow, dude! I need to get nails, motherfucker. Coors Light only uh, Coors Light only tastes good if it's really cold. Uh, and thankfully, I have two coolers with me. Coors Light is one of the worst beers warm. Uh, that I've ever had. The only one that tops that is Corona. Uh, Corona Warm is like actually, I've drank my own piss twice. Uh, it's like drinking your own piss. Uh, but this is pretty good. Um, cold, so I, you know, I have high expectations. It really tastes like nothing. Um, it, you get a little yeasty flavor and it's carbonated. It really tastes like nothing. Um, but that's what's good about it, is the fact that it's a light beer. Uh, it doesn't have a, an overly yeasty taste, uh, and it's actually pretty good. But I would rate this pretty highly in terms of drinkability. Taste is almost non-existent, so I can't really give it anything there. It's more closer to water than it is an alcohol. Uh, so realistically, I'm, I'm still going to put it above Smirnoff Ice. 
because I really can't drink more than one of these. So I have to factor that in. So now we have our, our base top five. I would say Coors is better, but worse than Miller Light Twee and Miller Highlight. I don't know why they, you, you know, I'm just going to say this is bad marketing because I was trying to show the can. Uh, you know, you should maybe put uh, the text font a little fucking smaller, right? So if I want to read the alcohol, I don't have to turn the entire fucking can around. Whoever whoever made this goddamn can should be fired. Heineken. That's what it says. Even though y'all can't, y'all read Eni. I hate Heinekens. <laughs> so, you know, you know, and now I'm hating Heineken even more. And now, and now I'm hating... And now I'm on the fucking, I'm on that fucking boof pack for this shit. God damn it. Dude, it's still fizzing. Why is it that fizzy? Most people I know do not like this beer uh, as well as me. I am not a fan of this. It's, it's so bad. I don't know what's... <laughs> It has this after you use you, as you're sipping it. You're like, it's not that bad, right? It tastes like a regular beer. And then as you swallow, it gets like a hint of like battery acid, like like a, like rusty batteries in water for like a few days and then mixed it with like regular beer. And it smells the worst. Like no beer smells good. This smells awful. Uh, I fucking hate it. Uh, I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it above Foster's. Uh, cause it's still better than Foster's. Yo, should we, I, like, when should we do a breathalyzer? I think every 10. Why are there so many beers on this side? I bought so many light alcohols. What the fuck? All right. Bud Light Lime. I've never had this. I like it. I like it. it. It reminds me of a Corona with a lime in it. Uh, and I think I'm only saying that because it has a hint of lime and it tastes like beer. It's still worse. I, I enjoy it, but it's still worse than a Smirnoff Ice. I don't think this... I think this will eventually just get kicked off the board in its entirety. In its entirety. But for right now, it's bottom five. I think once we get more alcohols in, I think I'll just end up moving this off the table. Uh, but for right now, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be bottom five, but the third worst. Actually, you know, since we already have the Twee, we'll go Twee half and half. It's a bit different because this is literally just an entirely different thing. Uh, it's, uh, Twisted Tea half and half. Uh, so it's half lemonade and half tea, uh, versus, uh, just tea. I think these actually have more sugar than the regular ones. Twee means Twisted Tea? Yeah. These are better. I'm going to compare these. If this one's better than this one, I'm just going to slide everything down. That has no alcohol in it. Yo, whoever told you that Twisted Teas are alcohol-free is trying to get you arrested for underage drinking. You're, do not, these have alcohol in them. This one's better. It's sweeter and it's more lemony. So this now goes to bottom four and these slide down. I think that's actually a pretty good setup right now. Pretty fair as well. Miller High Life. Dude, maybe Miller High Life might be worse than, than the Lemonade Twee. Yeah. I'll go there. We'll do that. Is that fair, chat? White Claw. The only flavor of White Claw that I will be tasting today... Uh, cause I'm not gonna be sitting here trying the 38 different fucking flavors that they have. White Claw Mango. Uh, I don't like most flavors of White Claws. Uh, I've had White Claws, I will drink them. But I think they're too fizzy, and I like fizz. I like carbonation. Uh, and they're also just a bit unflavorful. They smell amazing, though. It, it, it's, remi it's, it's reminding me of sparkling water. Uh, and with just some some flavoring inside like literally just alcohol alcohol spiked sparkling flavored water that's what that's what white claw tastes like i gotta compare it to the cores no all right it's not bad but i i think it's better than the smirnoff ice uh just because of how sweet this is this is our base top five bottom five 
that we're going to be going off of for right now. Let's do a little quick breathalyzer test. I feel like I might be at nothing though. Just because, like, has it been long enough for the alcohol to hit my system? .07, I could still drive, bitch. I could still operate a moving vehicle as per the U.S. government. All right. It says, hi, it's blinking red. .07. So I'm still on the legal limit is .08. Wow, I'm actually surprised I'm already at 0.07. Wow, that might not be good, dude. If we're getting through 40 and I'm already at 0.07, then mathematically, 7, 14, 21. Oh, God. Oh, God. I might need, <laughs> I might need, I might need to slow down here. By the end of this tier list, I might be, I might be not able to fucking walk. Next one. Yingling, one of my favorites. I do enjoy a nice yingling. Um, I'm gonna be kind of biased here. For the reasoning that I order Yingling Draft uh, almost every time I order a drink. The first drink I get at a bar uh, would be a Yingling Draft. I've never had Yingling in a can, though. And Draft and can are different. And since we're rating off can, this might be worse. It's good. I mean, like, it's really hard... I'm going to keep it real, right? As, as, a, as a, a genuine streamer, it's pretty fucking hard to uh, decipher the difference between beers. You can, but they're not, they're fractionally different, right? Like if you blindfolded me and you made me drink a Miller Lite and a Yingling, I'm going to be able to decipher which one, but probably with like an 80% accuracy. Like, there's a 20% chance that I'll just not know. Uh, but Yingling is pretty good. All right. Do y'all want the music on or no? I think we should have the music on. I think the taste is better than Miller, but I would drink more Millers. So I'm going to put Yingling above Coors Light. Now, what should we do with the alcohols that are not top five or bottom five? Should I just put them off screen? Or like, I'm going to just put them over here. Next, we have Stella. How the fuck do you say... How the fuck do you say this, chat? Stella Artois? Stella Artois? Artis? I've never had this beer. Stella, Stella Artois. Oh, wow. You just sound like a fucking pussy. <laughs> I'm having a Miller Lite. What about you? A Stella Artois. <laughs> like, stop trying to be fancy on me now. Is this a Paris beer? It sounds French. Let's give it a go. Ooh. It smells weird, but it tastes fine. Oh, it's not top five. I don't know if it's bottom five. It might... No, it's not as good as a White Claw. It's not as good as a White Claw, so it will replace White Claw, and it's worse than the Bud Light Lime. Yes. Does that work? Yes, that makes perfect sense. It's not bad. Like, keep in mind, I'm saying these are the worst ones, but like, if you handed me like, if you handed me like any of these, I would probably drink them. The only two that I might decline, right? I'll let you know. But the only two that I might be like, fuck that shit are Heineken and, and fucking Fosters. And here's another key factor chat. Should we factor this in? Uh, as I get more drunk, uh, everything's going to start to taste better. Arnold Palmer spiked. 100 calories per 12 ounce. This is the half and half light version, which is half iced tea, half lemonade. Wow. It's pretty good. Yeah, I know. What a shocker, chat. We got, we got Yingling knocked out of the tourney. At least it's not bottom five. Still a great beer. Arnold Palmer spiked. Wow, fantastic work. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up for Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer spiked. Got the dude golfing on the photo. I feel like a true champ drinking this drink. Sponsor me. Arnold Palmer spiked. Wow, dude, we're like not even halfway. I'm like, <laughs> we're like not even halfway. I'm starting to realize how much of a challenge this is going to be. Not even for like necessarily how drunk I'm going to get. Because I don't think I'm going to get that drunk because I'm like sipping them. But like, dude, just the sheer amount of liquid that I'm going to be consuming within the next hour 
is like, and it's, and it's, I'm drinking like chat. Y'all gotta realize, like, they tell you not to mix alcohols. I'm trying 38 different types of light alcohol. Natty Light. I think the only beer that I might have forgotten is Bush, is Bush Light. Uh, and some people might be upset about that, but to that, I'm gonna say nobody drinks that whack ass beer, so I don't give a fuck. What the fuck we wanna give Natty Light? I haven't even tried it. I've never had Natty Light. 25 ounce beer here. Ugh. Ooh, very fizzy. It's not bad, but it's not special. Like, it's better than that, but I'm literally, I'm still, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it off screen. Just because I don't think that it matches either of them. It's worse than the Miller, because that's what I immediately do, right? The first things I have to compare are these two, right? If it's better than a Smirnoff Ice, then it's not bottom five. If it's worse than a Miller Light, then it can't be top five. Like, I would rate it like a fucking six and a half, seven out of ten. It's nothing special. Pabst Blue Ribbon. Pretty sure this is the beer that they drink in South Park. Outside of that, I have never seen this beer uh, in my life. Established in Milwaukee. Where the fuck is Milwaukee? Uh, is that in the U.S.? Who gives a fuck? Smells like piss. Like every other beer. I gotta stop smelling them. It's slightly worse than a Miller Lite. All right. This one's going to be a shocker, chat. What do y'all think I'm about to pull out? If anyone guesses this, I'll gift you a fucking sub. It's about to be a shocker. Four, three, two, one. A Warhead drink. Warhead seltzer. Extreme sour. I see these at every liquor store I go to, and they look so fucking gross. Does that even have alcohol in it? Yeah, it's 5%. It's more out, it's more, it's a higher percent than most of the drinks here. It smells great, right? It smells like an artificial, artificial fucking cherry flavor. No. Uh, is it sour? It, it's not, it's sour tasting. It's just bad. It's definitely bottom five. It's definitely bottom five. It's a matter of what the fuck is getting kicked out. I think this is getting moved out, right? This has to get moved out of the way. So now Bud Light Lime is the key holder for worse alcohol. But I actually didn't even dislike Bud Light Lime. Fuck, chat. We're gonna have to make a maneuver here. You have to keep... Chat, should we move Bud Light Lime out? I gotta move something else in. I can move something else into the bottom. I think Natty Light. Because Bud Light Lime wasn't bad. And I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be bottom five anymore since we have a bunch on like the back queue. This, I still think is better than a Heineken. I still think, I still think Warheads is better than a Heineken and better than the Fosters. Now we got a classic here, right? Budweiser. Most people don't drink a Budweiser uh, unless you're a 50 year old man. Budweiser is literally a uh, old person drink, uh, Bud Light. And Bud Light Lime might be appealing to uh, younger people, but I have never seen anyone under the age of, I'd say maybe 53, that has ordered a Budweiser. Ooh, bit of a weird aftertaste. Tastes like nothing. It's better. It's better than the Natty Light's. Not as good as the Miller. It's getting. It's getting moved to the side. I'd probably give it like a seven. It's not awful. And like I, I would or I would drink it, but I wouldn't order it. Next, I didn't know what flavor to get, uh, because there's like a hundred different flavors of Trulies. What's your favorite light slash heavy alcohol? If it's hard alcohol, I really like, like maybe Captain Morgan. I like rum. If it's light alcohol, I mean I like Trulies. I mean we'll see we'll see how this pans out, because I think Trulies are the better version of a White Claw. I really don't want to knock the Miller out, but I might have to. Big play here. Big play here. I'm sorry to the Miller fans. All right. The last one on the right cooler. I never know how to say this. I don't know. It's a Mexican beer. Cerveza. Says it on the bottle. I know Spanish. I have ordered these beers before. They're not bad. It's a weird beer because it's kind of peppery. I don't think it's better than a Truly though, and it's not worse than an Addy. It's going, it's going away. It's going away. I'd probably rate it like a seven, eight. 
It's a decent beer. Oh god, dude, the amount of alcohol I have to fucking still test. How the fuck am I gone down? Yo, this shit's inaccurate as fuck. It says I'm a .68. There is no way. There is no way. I'm redoing that. Oh my god, dude. Dude, it, it says it just says .6 again. We're turning it off. We'll return after five more. We're halfway. We're halfway. Let's get on to the next one. Guinness. Guinness. Woo, Guinness. It's not a twist off. Oh my God. It tastes like soy sauce. It tastes like soy sauce. Oh, that's so fucking gross. Oh my God, dude. Is that because it's extra stout? Oh, oh my God. I need to drink something else. Dude, I've had Guinness. I ha I've had Guinness and it doesn't taste like that. <laughs> I can't drink that. Oh my God. That is the worst alcohol I've ever had in my life. That is the worst alcohol I've ever had in my life. This shit's trash. This shit is garbage. Do people in Ireland like this? Dude, it smell it smells like soy sauce. Oh my god, dude, it's the aftertaste. Fuck that shit. Oh my god, Natty Light's out. Natty Light's out. Bravo, Natty Light. You're no longer in the bottom five. Oh my god, that is fucking disgusting. Yo, Guinness is worse than the Australian beer. I'm so sorry for my for my five Irish viewers. Michelob Ultra. This is kind of more in tune with the frat boy staple. Dude, it still says 0. .54. I'm, I'm like wondering, like, I don't know if I would want to drive a moving vehicle right now. Like, I don't think I would be okay with driving a, mo a moving vehicle. It's 0. .54. It's 0. .54. I thought it was point. Bro, I was gonna say, like, I feel like I would get a DUI right now. Like, there's no way, there's no way I would fucking, there, dude, oh my God. I was like, what the fuck? Like, how am I, dude, it's making me wait another 20 seconds. I swear to God, I'm gonna fucking, I'm fucking start, I'm gonna start punching shit. Michelob Ultra. Tastes like absolutely nothing. I'm getting, no, I'm getting, I'm getting water. That means I could drink a lot of these. So do we put it in the top five? It's not bottom five. It's, be it's better than that bitch ass Stella Artois. Stella Artois. Fuck that dumbass beer. I don't know if I want to move it up. But like Michelob Ultra is like most recognizably like the lightest alcohol. 7.8 maybe, 7.9. Next one is not Mike's Hard Lemonade. It is Mike's Harder lemonade uh mike's harder lemonade base flavor nothing special y'all know do y'all go to annie ann's at your mall uh if you go to annie ann's at your local mall and you get the lemonade at that annie ann's it tastes like this it's not like base lemonade. It's, it's, it, it tastes actually like decent lemonade. Overly sugared. Like a lot of sugar in this. But it tastes like that. It's pretty good. Like the aftertaste is very like vodka-esque or like grain alcohol. Uh, but it tastes pretty good. And for the percentage that it is, you actually need to drink less of these. Uh, and so if you're somebody that doesn't like drinking a lot of liquid, uh, this might actually be better. Do I want to put... It's better than any of these. That without a doubt, right? Because I actually like it. Is it better than a Truly? Yeah. It's stronger, but it has that taste that kind of masks it. So I'm going to move Truly out of the race here. Big fucking move here, chat. Oh my god. Truly's out of the fucking race. But then, chat, is this like... Isn't this kind of fucked if I have like... Right now in the top five... Three of them have iced tea in them. Like, that's a problem, right? Out of the top five, three of them have iced tea. 
That's too many. I actually, I want to do this. It, Tweed should still be top five. It's it's still better than a Shrewly. But I genuinely do like the Mike Smarter more. Even though I could drink less of them, there is no need to drink more of them because it's a higher percentage. Oh boy. Oh, the goddamn, the goddamn liberal drink. The goddamn liberal drink. Yep. Yeah. You see the recent ad they did of these? They put a fucking Lucky Charms flag on one of these. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm... This is gonna tart my manlyhood if I if I take a a simple uh, a simple one of these. Yeah, talking about talking about a little sissy drink. I don't know about this. Yep, just what I thought. All right, Bud Light doing an LGBTQ collab did not make your beer bad. Your beer was bad before, right? It hasn't changed. If you're a, a Bud Light fan and you're no longer a Bud Light fan because they did an LGBTQ collab, I hate to break it to you, your beer sucks already. I don't know if it's bottom five, but it's not good. Like, it's like a six. Next one. Modelo. Modelo is a good beer on a beach. Uh, the really annoying thing is this is a tall boy, so I'm not gonna have this issue. But most Modellos have like a gold wrapper that you have to peel off. Oh, it's the most annoying thing in the fucking world to get out. My dad's drinking Modelo right now. Yeah, Modelo's a dad beer. Modelo's definitely a dad beer. And I see why. Like, it's not bad. It smells like nothing. That, I feel like if it's under 4%, it just, it just doesn't even have a smell. Dude, it tastes like nothing. It has a taste and it tastes like beer, but like when you taste the beer, you're expecting there to be like a thicker taste. Like Miller High Life has a thicker taste and so does Ying Wang, right? But like with Modelo, I'm trying it and like it has that initial taste and then right when you swallow it, it's just nothing. But it's like a seven out of 10. I would say, ooh, is it better than, fuck, fuck. And now my chicken little copy is ruined. And out of all the beers I could have spilt, I spilt the one that tastes and smells like soy sauce. I'm trying to think though, that if whether or not I like Modelo more than a Twee, because it's like a seven, seven and a half in taste, but the drinkability is really there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare. Ah, oh, but Miller was pretty good too, but I don't know if I like Modelo more than a Miller. All right, we gotta do a three-way comparison here. Chat, we're doing a three-way comparison here. Which one's gonna win? It's the Twee. Okay. Uh, it's only it's only reaffirming, it's only reaffirming uh my truth that the Twee was better. Okay. Had to get it. The only other flavor that I got for Smirnoff Ice. So the Smirnoff is back and better than ever. It's here to compete. It's here to compete once again, chat. The red, white, and blue got knocked off, yay, maybe 20 minutes ago. But now it's it's bigger brother, the original flavor that kind of tastes like lemonade, which is three out of the five fucking, oh my God, four out of the five. Holy shit, chat. Our top five is, our top five consists of half and half, tea and lemonade. Tea, Miller, lemonade, tea. And now we got another lemonade. It's not, it's not going to be in either of them. This one is so good though. This one, like if I had to drink any, any of these on like a hot beach and I'm sweating this because it's refreshing. It's refreshing. It tastes the least sweetened. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Fuck. Is it better than a tweet? Dude. Then we're going to have just lemonades in the top. Oh my God. It might be better than a tweet. Oh my god, a monumental play! Twisted Tea is out of the fucking runnings! Now we have Arnold Palmer, half and half. Twisted Tea, half and half. Miller High Life. Mike Harder. Smeared off ice. And then on the fucking bottom five, Stellar Artois, Warheads, Heineken, Fosters, and Guinness Stout. And now our next contender. A goddamn blue moon. A goddamn blue moon. A fancier drink. A fancier beer. 
I'll order a blue moon. If I'm drinking a blue moon, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm high class. <laughs> I mean that reaction warrants another taste to see if it's in the bottom. I drink blue moons. See, this is what's this is what's bad, dude. Like, I feel like I'm re I don't want to put blue moon in the bottom five, so I'm gonna try it again. But like, dude, I'll drink blue moons and I like them. But that was that did not taste good. I think I'm getting yeah, now it tastes fine. Okay. It's when the difference between a blue moon and like say something like a Miller Light is like it's more of a thicker beer. And the thicker beers kind of have more distinct flavors that are differentiate, like differentiated from maybe other light beers uh, and more closer to like a yingling. It's better than the Stella. Cayman Jack. Now is, have y'all heard of this? I don't know if this is a regional alcohol. I, I didn't, I don't think it is. And so I, I brought it. Uh, but I don't know if it's a regional alcohol. It's a margarita seltzer. Came in Jack. <laughs> Came in who? Came in who? Came in who? Shut up. That's really good. That's really fucking good. It tastes exactly like a low percentage alcohol margarita. I'm a fan. Wow. Wow. This is really fucking good. Oh my god, I've never had one of these before. Dude, it's so limey. It's so limey. It's like a good sour. It's like where this fucking failed. This is a contender for top five. Like similar sweetness levels, but this has more flavor. It's better. Now, is it better than a Mike's Harder? Yep. I don't think it's better than the Miller High Life. We're gonna go that. We're going to go Cayman Jack Margarita. W Cayman Jack. Top four. Top four. Fourth place right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Am I allowed to pass on this one? This is a four loco gold, uh -oh. which is 14% alcohol, uh -oh. which is more than wine. I have to try it. Okay. I will try it, chat. You know, I will try it. Uh, since y'all, since y'all peer pressured me and swayed my hand within three seconds of just saying no. Like, me drinking this is the equivalent of me drinking three of these. That's, maybe three and a half of these is one of these. No. No. Oh my god. It's like the initial taste, dude, you can tell they put like I think a four loco gold is like 95 grams of sugar because they put so much sugar in it that when you're drinking it, like when it hits your mouth, you're like, oh, it doesn't taste that bad. The second you swallow it, that like abrupt warmth of alcohol just like hits you. <sighs> it might be bottom five. It might be bottom five. No one enjoys drinking those. Oh my God, dude. Stella's so bad though. Dude, I might, yo, Stella, yo, I'm sorry for the one French viewer that I have. This beer is fucking terrible. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna move it out, right? It's not the worst because it's better than the Stella. The Stella's just taste so bad. The Stella's are bad from start to finish. The Four Loco's good and then really bad. Corona Extra. The long-awaited. People have been asking about this one. It's in the fucking back chat. Uh, the first beer I ever had was a Corona. Not the first drink. The first alcoholic drink I ever had was a Smirnoff Ice. Uh, the red, white, and blue. It's not good with a lime. It's not good with a lime, and it also might be the fact that this is a can and not a bottle. Oh my god, I don't like it. I don't like it. Is Corona, what's the most popular beer? What would y'all consider the most popular beer? Probably Corona or Bud Light. Bud Light just has recent hype because of all the controversy and shit that people are like bitching about. But like, I would say generally the most popular beer would probably be Corona. And I get it. Like, it, this fits a certain situation, right? A Corona on a beach at a pool... 
outside, when it's warm, hot, you have a lime, you're sitting there and, and, and it's starting to fucking like sweat because the condensation, like that's good, right? That's a good beer. I'm painting out a picture where you're going to fucking like it, right? But like sitting here in my room, drinking a goddamn Corona, no lime out of a can. No, it's still better than the Stella. Beatbox, y'all know what this is? I don't know if this is regional, but I see these all over the place. A little fucking beatbox remix. Eater, eater. Looks like you're drinking a goddamn protein shake, except it's 11% alcohol. They're so good. Oh, oh, they're so good. It reminds me, y'all ever have muscle milk? It's the same, it's the same like packaging as muscle milk, but they just put something else in it. And it smells good. It tastes good. I love fruit punch flavored things too. Wow, this might be better than the Mike's Harder. Oh my God, it's better than a Twee. Is it better than an Arnold Palmer? No. Wow! Chat, a big fucking play has just been made. Everybody say goodbye to the Mike's Harder. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for the Mike's Harder fans. I gotta fucking knock you out here. We gotta move him down. Beatbox has now solidified its position in the top two, where it will likely stay top five for the rest of the tourney. Call, f call 45. No one actually drinks these. Uh, the only the only time I have ever seen uh, a Colt 45 reference is in Afro Man's uh, crazy rap. Colt 45. Not a fan of the taste. Not a fan, not not a fan, right? Uh, middle of the road, yet again, like all the other alcohols, because we're rating 38 here, 39. Uh, and only 10 are going to make either the top five or the bottom five. Uh, it's definitely better than Stella. I'd probably rate it in the sevens. I'd probably rate it in the sevens, the Colt. Next on the tier list in the rating, uh, this is, I believe, a Jamaican beer. Uh, I have this in Jamaica, so it might not be a Jamaican beer, but it's definitely a Caribbean beer. It is a Jamaican beer. Jamaican lager, 4.7% alcohol. Uh. I drank a lot of these when I was in Jamaica. Uh, they had them in our rooms. <sighs> Smells like a nice beer. Ah, now nah, that shit's good. It's different, right? Like when you have when you have a lot of American beers. If you're drinking Bud Light, Miller Light, Miller High Life, which is pretty good. That's why it's in the top uh, the top five. Michelob Ultra, even Yingling. Like they all kind of have the same vibe. And then when you go to the foreign beers. They taste a lot different, right? And that's why some of the foreign beers, like these three, are trash, uh, in my opinion. But this one's actually pretty fucking good. I don't know if it's better than the Cayman. I'm also like, chat, am I, is it biased for me to have the memories of like the fun trip I was on? Like, I feel like that's kind of fucked for me to be like, okay, I'm having fond memories of the trip when I drank this. And so I think that's kind of swaying my opinion. It's not better. It's good. It's like almost there, but it's not. I'd still rate the Red Stripe like an eight though. Like it's, it's like a really good beer. I would say I would order it more if they had it at like bars. Now, I don't, I think this might be the only regional beer or regional light alcohol that I bought, but um, I'm going to review it anyway because it's a really cool idea. It's called Not Your Father's Root Beer. Do y'all know this? We're getting three uses out of this flip-flop today. Oh my God. This is fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing that I'm getting to use this thing. I'm getting the bang out of my fuck. Jesus Christ. Three fucking, three, three bottle opens on the goddamn fucking flip-flop. Dude, it's so good. It's so good. Dude, it's drinking. It's drinking root beer. It's drinking root beer. It's so unhealthy for you, right? Because this is literally alcohol 
matched with a root beer. Like, imagine just pouring, like, if they poured alcohol into a root beer. That's what they did. I don't taste the alcohol. It's just fucking root beer. I have the urge to drink all of this. It's definitely, I, you know, I'm not even going to look at that shit, right? Because these are trash, right? For, if I'm saying it's so good, it's automatically not in the bottom five. Dude, I feel like it has to be top five, but I don't know. I don't know where. I think it's worse than the beatbox. I would rather have the beatbox, right? Because the beatbox is higher percentage. And I would only need to really drink like one of these. It might be around the twee area. Imagine a root beer float with it. Bro, you put this shit in ice cream. Well, then you might, you might have like cardiac arrest, right? From too much sugar. This shit is so good. It's better. Oh, dude, now I have to compare the Cayman. No, because I really don't want to knock out the Cayman Jack. Oh, but the Miller, the Miller High Life is really good. Dude, is the Miller High? Yo, chat, am I allowed to change my decisions on, on what can get knocked out? Yes or no? Am I allowed to, am I allowed to just start fucking shit up? This Cayman Jack is better than the fucking tweet. Fuck this dumbass tweet. This shit tastes terrible. Dude, I said, I said when I started getting tipsy, everything was going to start changing. And I'm going to start thinking that some things are better than others. I think Miller stays exactly where it is. So I need something here and something here. I'm going to put the root beer here. Okay. Because I think the root beer deserves that spot. It's just, it's, oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. And I'm just sitting there like, Dude, I already have a half and half in number one. Like the Arnold Palmer spiked is so fucking good. Yeah, like it, it's so good. And I'm sitting there and that's number one. This doesn't even really compare to that. El Presidente. This reminds me of Heineken. It's weird though. Because it's like Heineken and El Presidente have very similar tastes. But where Heineken went wrong, El Presidente fixed it. It's like that weird battery acid taste is kind of pleasant. And I don't know if this is me being somewhat drunk or... Or... <laughs> dude, I don't know. I just feel like the El Presidente is better. El Presidente is actually pretty fucking good. Like, I would rate this like a high 7, maybe an 8. Did I already do a Truly? I have another fucking Truly here. Now I have a Truly Fruit Punch. So maybe the Fruit Punch will actually do better because I have the Beatbox Fruit Punch up here. So I feel like we have to, I feel like we have to rate this one. I'm spilling it on myself. Ugh, is that better than this Truly? This is better, but this tastes really artificial. Like this, like this fruit punch, even though it's higher percent, it like, it, this is a way higher percentage than this. It tastes like it's just like a bunch of sucralose or like some weird artificial sugar. Like, I don't really like it. It's definitely not, it's definitely not as bad as Stella though. Oh, I said the truly fruit punch was too artificial, which it is, but it's not, it's not bad. I would still drink it. Next one. Dos Equis. I, it, this was also a hard one to find. Dos Equis, Dos Equis and El Presidente were not easy to, to get. I had to buy six packs of them and they didn't have tall boys. And I had to go to three different liquor stores to find these. Dos Equis. Wow, that might be the alcohol talking to me. Is that the alcohol talking to me? I hope that's not the alcohol talking to me. Wow, that's really fucking good. Hold up, what do I compare this to? The Miller High Life. Oh, it's so good. Dude, I don't know though. Hold up, now I gotta compare these. Now I might have to move the Cayman Jack in front of the Miller High Life. Dude, but the Miller High Life's... Yo, chat, I'll let you guys choose. Which one of these stays in the top five? I really like Dos Equis. Wow, I really like Dos Equis. Cayman Jack stays. Okay, Cayman Jack stays. Miller High Life Sal. I think this is a pretty diverse uh, top five, actually, now. Starting out, it was just all, like, twisted teas and shit. But now we got half and half Arnold Palmer, Beatbox, Root Beer, 
Um, Dosakis, Cayman Jack, then bottom five, Stella, Warhead, Heineken, uh, Fosters, and that. Oh my god, it's so bad. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Hi, noon! Last two. Hi, noon. This is, a, this is the second to last one. We got a high noon here. We got high noon pear flavored. High noon is something that I actually really like, right? Uh, I think it's a high quality alcohol. It's vodka instead of uh, grain alcohol, like White Claw uh, and Truly. So it's a bit higher quality. Uh, they're more expensive, uh, but it's basically a vodka soda. It's really good. High noons are like, high noons are clean. They have a lot of juice in them, like just genuine juice. They don't have a lot of sugar. Uh, they're very drinkable. I'm glad I saved this to the last two because I feel like this is actually a good competitor for these. It's better than the Cayman. It's better than the Cayman, so the Cayman's gone. Wow. Rip in the chat for Cayman. Ooh, it's not better. It's better than the Dos Equis. It's right there. That works. Dos Equis, Dos Equis High Noon. Not your father's root beer beatbox, Arnold Palmer. Last one, chat. Last one. Give me a round of applause. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up that I got through this shit. Happy Dad. Now, I already have a grudge with Happy Dad because I had to buy a 24 pack of these motherfuckers to even be able to rate them. They didn't have a 12 pack. They didn't have a, what they might, I don't know if it was a 12. It was a 12 or a 24. I think it was a 12. I had to buy a 12 pack of these motherfuckers to even be able to rate them. I could have buy a six. I could have buy a tall boy. I had to buy fucking $18 of these bitches to be able to fucking, to be able to fucking get them. And we're rating wild cherry. The only fucking flavor of high noon I'm rating. Fuck that shit. This is made by Nelk. Everybody knows Nelk. Uh, the fucking full send, guys. Let's give it a go. Doesn't taste like cherry. Oh my god. Dude, I don't know if I like it or not. Chat, do I like it? I don't want to tell my chat. I don't want to ask my chat if I like it. It's like clearly artificial, but I don't know if I like the artificialness. It's not bad. I don't think it's either of them now. Happy Dad is like, I feel like Happy Dad gets hype because of Nelk. Uh, and just like their branding and they're all cool. And it's like dope to drink Nelk uh, alcohol. So people buy Happy Dads. Like, like I'm going to rate it like a 7 out of 10. It's not bad. But we're going to keep it there. Is this a good list, chat? Is this a good list? Let me check. Hold up. Let me check that I'm not missing alcohol. No alcohol there. Jesus Christ. No alcohol there. Okay. We fucking did all of them. How many did we do? If I, if you put me in my car right now, I would fucking hit a van. I would hit a van. I would hit a telephone pole. I would fucking run into something. There's no way. There's no way. I don't know what a part of their body is like I could drive right now. Well, apparently I could drive right now because I'm at zero, zero, chat. Top five. At the end of the day, Arnold Palmer half and half. Beatbox fruit punch, not your father's root beer. High noon pear, which, which is just high noon in general. And Dos Equis. Bottom five. Stella Artois. Fuck that shit. That, that's the worst beer ever. I feel like I kind of want to move that down, but I'm just kind of being biased towards it. Warheads Black Cherry. Heineken, Fosters, and Guinness. All right. We're going to call it there, chat. That was a goddamn W stream. I'm glad I did this stream for you guys. I'm kind of upset that I had to buy a bunch of tall boys for this because half of these are unfinished and I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. But I'm going to figure that out. And I appreciate everybody that came to the stream. Who do we fucking raid now? <laughs>